All right, let's get right into it. So this is my first how-to video. We're gonna make see-through visors. Now, I've already done it and they're not in right now, but as you can see, there's this little friendly needle right here. So this is off the old visor. Now, all you need to do to do this, it's actually really easy and it looks wicked when you're done. Take out these three screws here, same on the other side, take the whole thing off and then tear it to shreds. Once you get the cardboard on the inside, the material on the outside out, this is gonna be all that's left and this is all that you need and it looks awesome as well. Next thing you need to do is go to Canadian Tire or find some kind of plastic that you can use to drill into and then replace with the old visors. So I'll come around here and show you this one as well. Right, so same thing, just take out these three screws and this is all that you'll be left with. Right, so like I said before, I've already done them, but I took these off because I was just doing a little cleanup work. So as you can see, they're tinted. You just have to do your best to try and find something like this. So I accidentally put an extra hole in it, but these two over here, you want to put two tiny little holes and then you want to find P clips. So what those look like is this right here. So it kind of looks like a P or an R when you put it together like that, looks like a P, okay? So this is what's gonna hold everything together and on that chrome stick, this is gonna slide onto that in two different places and you're gonna put a screw with a nut on through this and that's what's gonna hold it up. So then afterwards, you'll still have the mobility of putting it up and down because it's gonna spin on those P-clips. And then also then the metal bar is gonna go out so you can put it to your left or your right. Now, of course, on my 2001 Ford Explorer Sport Track, there was a mirror only on the passenger side. So I actually took that out of the frame and I stuck it onto here you how you can kind of see around the back here a little bit. I used, there you go, you can kind of see, little pieces of glue, sticky tack, you know, whatever you got that's gonna hold it up there. Put it to the test though, make sure it isn't gonna fall off before you put it up there, because, you know, shattered glass is not your friend. Now to get them back in, you're gonna need measle, needle, nose, pliers, a Phillips, and a little flathead. I'm just using a little flathead because it's easier to get it super tight. This one kind of grinds away at the head and uh, ruins it, so it's even harder to tighten it. So, as you can see, both of them are in. So, you're gonna need to use the needle nose pliers to keep the nut in place. And then, when it comes down, the mirror is on it and everything. At the front, you don't want to forget to push a, put a washer on it because the P-clip can bend slightly, especially if it's warmer out, and then the nut will and the head will go right through the plastic and it won't work. So don't forget to put a little tiny washer on it. And then the P-clip slide right onto this thing. And now it goes up and down, and it's tight enough, if you use the right materials, that it'll hold itself in place pretty well, like that. And then you can bring it down again. Here's the mirror for the passenger. And then also it'll still move because this is the original piece and it'll still move outwards like this. So then, of course, you won't have the mirror facing your passenger, but this will still be blocking the sun. All right, so try not to move it using the plastic because it's still a little flimsy. You want to always move it by holding this piece right here. And then you should be golden. Right, I'm going to show you on the other side. Same thing here. Right. And then it'll also come around to your left to block the sun. So, that is how to make see-through visors. Now, it won't work for every single car. But for all 2000 or first generation sport tracks, and I think most Fords around that time, this is the same design, so it'll work for that. 
Thanks for watching everyone, best of luck trying this out. For my original review video of my truck, click on the left door. For more how-to videos, click on the right door which will take you straight to my channel. Any and all questions are encouraged in the comments below. Like and subscribe for frequent updates on my newest mods.